discovered in Philadelphia, fentanyl is being cut with a new substance in some places to make its effects last longer, but that also leaves users with open wounds that can last for months and even rotting flesh. We warn you, what you're about to see contains graphic imagery and may be disturbing, but we think it's important to show to understand the scope of this crisis. This trench is bad. I didn't know I did this. I was like one of the first victims out here with this kind of shit. The opioid crisis has been going on for a long time, but in Philly, the problem has shifted. Most of the street fentanyl supply is cut with an animal tranquilizer called xylazine, or trank. To be honest, I really didn't even notice the change. It was just, heroin wasn't doing anything for me anymore. You build a tolerance for everything eventually. And then, then I started doing a track and heroin just disappeared altogether. They made it cheaper, easier to get. Now it's just killing everybody. Does Trank give you the same feeling that fentanyl would? No. You get warm and fuzzy from fentanyl, Trank puts you to sleep. Trank was found in over 90% of the dope samples tested in Philadelphia, and it's spreading to other cities on the East Coast. In 2021, it was detected in 34% of overdose deaths in Philadelphia. Users did not want xylazine, but now they're addicted to it. Xylazine is a powerful sedative not approved for use in humans. It can cause users to be motionless for hours, even days. They knocked the elephants out with it. Yeah. That's why you see everybody on the you know? It also causes skin wounds that won't heal, and that can become necrotic. Doctors don't yet know why. It removes seven pounds of flesh and a liter and a half of pus. It's been open for 21 months. That's how horrible it is. Trying to shit us. It doesn't let your body heal. It's killing us. Slow but sure it's killing us. Some of us earlier than others, but eh, it's eventually going to kill you. In Kensington, the main avenue runs under the elevated train. And on many of the corners, you can buy drugs. On the side streets and in the park, people without homes live and sleep and use illegal drugs. Hey, what's up, Pop? Did you want to get on the list? A Percocet prescription led to Sarah Laurel getting addicted to heroin and living on the street. When she got sober, she created Savage Sisters, a harm reduction organization that offers showers and nurses to treat people's wounds. Shower, wound care, both or just shower? Everybody knows about Kensington. It's a tourist location for drugs. A couple people mentioned that People will come down here for the weekend and never leave. You just get stuck. Why go home? This is McPherson Square Park, but we call it Needle Park. Why? Everybody shoots up here. There's a lot of syringes left around.